Um, testing, testing, one, two, three. I hope this thing still works. Um, testing, testing, one, two, three. I hope this thing still. Ah. Oh. Okay. Where do I begin? I'd write this all down, but there's a reason why I'm a photographer and not, well, you see, I've come to believe that things have to get really, really bad before they can get good. Not even really, really good. Although, I wouldn't mind some of that. I guess when you look at the way my life turned out so far, it's about the only way you can look at it. Good follows bad. Kind of amazing. It's Valentine's Day, and I don't feel much like being anybody's Valentine. But as odd as it seems, I find myself wanting to talk to you. I remember the first time how you sent me a Valentine that wasn't signed. You just drew in one of those happy faces. I asked once why you sent me all those cards and you told me you had to get my attention somehow. Where could my head have been that I wasn't paying attention to you? What was it that Uncle Ben used to say? Youth is wasted on the wrong people. I know you'll never hear this, but someday, there will be someone who should know about you, about us. Your name was Gwen Stacy, mine is Peter Parker. This is the story of how we fell in love, or more appropriately, how we almost didn't fall in love. So, it's Valentine's Day, and there's a place I visit once a year. Nobody knows. I don't make a big deal out of it. It's about remembering someone who was so important to me and was going to spend the rest of my life with her. I didn't know that meant she would only get to spend the rest of her life with me. There is nothing I can do about it and I've come to accept that. But when you lose someone you love, everyone tells you to pick up and move on. Don't dwell on the past. It is what she would want. And that makes me smile. Like I would ever want to forget you. The way your hair would fall across your face. The way you're, you sip your soda. Hello Gwen. My funny Valentine. 